What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Dr. D-Dub here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Roller Coaster Tycoon. Uh, since last episode, I've been playing a little bit on this park. Or not playing a little bit. I took a look at this park, and it's way too quiet. So we're actually going to add some music. We don't have any that can add horror style quite yet. I think the Haunted House is the only one you can do that on. But I've honestly always thought the water style is kind of creepy. So we're going to put water style on deviled eggs just because it's somewhat centrally located and you can kind of hear it through most of our park. And I think it adds a nice kind of eerie vibe to this park. But when I left you guys last time, we were working on Roller Coaster 1 here. Before we finish up with Roller Coaster 1, we're going to build Roller Coaster 2 <laughs> is what it's going to be named for a second. Uh, we're going to build this up and then paint it and name them. I mentioned I was going to do something with... Oh, sweet. We just got a water slide. Uh, I mentioned I was going to do something with uh, the alternative paint schemes or color schemes. And that's actually not going to happen. I tried it out and I don't like how it looks. So we're going to do normal, normal paint schemes here. I say normal. Halloween themed paint scheme. Uh, and we're doing literally a mirror image of this other one uh i know this isn't anything super crazy but i do have a plan to incorporate this later in our park and it's gonna look really cool if i can pull it off so i am hoping i can do that uh let me add the entrance and exit like i always seem to forget to do we'll add those back here all right um and i'm also i was looking at this line and it's way too short i don't know what i was thinking when i built that so we're going to, again, we're going to mirror everything about these rides. Uh, so we're actually going to bring it out to take it this direction and then start coming up right here. I think this will work out nicely. And we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So let me go ahead and close Roller Coaster 1 so I can adjust the footpath there with the negative $14, now positive $14, that I do have now. Oh! Um, I'm going to move that guy before I accidentally drown him because I can very easily see that happening. I don't want to accidentally do that. And I just built that with the wrong, the wrong style there. So let's, we got to go back over that actually. That's my bad. It's a waste of money, but that's me being careless. <laughs> Oops. I'm just not used to doing that support style. I really like it though. But I'm just not used to it. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing. We went out two, over, directly underneath, then went up for one, and then turned it. Oh, man. The beginning of every park is always such a financial challenge, I guess is the word. Uh, let's get an exit for this one, and then we can at least open them and start making some money. Uh, oh, come on. <laughs> Roller Coaster 1. What was our... Actually, they're... are they both named Roller Coaster 1? No, they're not. Roller Coaster 1. Okay. What was its excitement rating? 5.23. I didn't check it before. I should have, just to see how much this upped it. Uh, but let's actually change it to synchronize with adjacent stations now. Which is always so fun to say. <laughs> I don't know why, but it is. Reverse incline launch mode. So now those are the exact same. And roller coaster one and two, I need to paint both of them first still. Um, we're gonna do orange supports on two here. And we're gonna do the inverse of what we had there. So orange with black. And I think those two look really nice right next to each other. And I love this darker environment. All right, let's see if we can get a test run of this in the thunderstorm. These are going to be... Actually, let's do... Let's do all black on this one. And then all orange on this one. I think that could look really nice. Yeah, I like that. That's cool looking. Okay. Roller Coaster 1 and Roller Coaster 2. Freddy and Jason. 
I like it. That's cool. Okay, let's go ahead and give Freddy and Jason a test run. I love watching these go up backwards. And the sound, I say it every time. I just love it. <laughs> oh, yeah. In perfect synchrony. Almost. Jason, Freddy, seems to be lagging behind slightly, and I'm not sure why. I'm actually surprised people are riding this in the rain, probably because they don't have stats yet. 563 and 566. How those are different, I'm not sure. Probably just in proximity to our car ride here. But we, either way, we can charge 560 for both of those. That's going to get us out of this money pit real quick, especially now that it's done raining. Five, five, sixty. Perfect. And I want to make sure I build something worthy of test running in this episode because my buddy over at Part 2 Productions, who, if you've been living under a rock, he is the, the guy, the, he's a friend of mine, He's the one who makes all of the music I use for testing rides and for my outro. And I love most of his music. Some of it is, some of it's more my style. Some of it's more kind of hip hop, which isn't really my style. And I don't really want to use songs with words in these episodes, but some of his stuff has got a really kind of eerie vibe to it. And I really dig it. So I, this is a great park to really show some of that off. I used a brand new track of his, or not brand new track, I used a new track for this episode of his, uh, it was called Phantom. Um, I used that when I demoed, I think, the Necropolis. Oh, this is going to make so much money. But I want to make sure to show off some of his music in this part, because it's all, like I said, it's all very kind of eerie and has kind of a creepy vibe, and I hope you guys will agree. But in order to do that, we need money. We need a lot of it. Uh, and we're going to get it. What's... Okay, we have an information kiosk on the way. That's good. Uh, not a ride that I can build, but something we need for sure. We don't have any more gentle. We don't have any more thrill. We do have a wooden crazy rodent coaster I could build. Um, I could do a boat hire as well. Why not? I can make a really simple boat hire. It'll cost me next to nothing. And it'll work. I think I can actually do it on the edge here. And people can... We'll just do four. So that was 160 184 dollars. Something like that. Close to that. So not expensive. Uh, and let's just get a simple footpath leading up here. This should connect just fine. There we go. Uh, this is just some not quick money, but that didn't cost more than, what, $400 to build with the walkway included. Uh, and this is going to be just some easy money here. Alright, so let's do... Do I want to do... Now, I think I want to do rowing boats, because the name I've got in mind, I think rowing boats would fit a little bit better. Um, what do black boats look like on this? With a white seat? What if we do... No, I like the black boats. But I think I'd like a gray seat better. There we go. That's nice. And then let's do... I'm loving the solid black, but we've got one for our Ferris wheel here. Sorry, our wheel of death. Um, we don't have a black and white. Yeah, we do. Let's do black and gray. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, I kind of like that. And then this will obviously be black because this is a dark... Actually, let's do red on that one. Let's actually add... Sorry, I'm just now remembering the name I chose, and I think red is going to fit a little bit better with all this. Yeah, there we go. That's just enough red for me. Because this is going to be summer camp killer. I don't know why, but a boat on a lake 
Not that this is really a lake, but a boat on a lake to me just screams like summer camp murder horror film. I don't know. I think it's, I think it fits. Summer camp killer. All right, and we don't need to change anything but the price, which we will once we get stats, 229. Again, easy, easy money. We're gonna make that back in no time. And have we unlocked our information kiosk yet? I haven't been paying attention. We have, perfect. And hopefully this will, this will make us a little bit of money. I don't know why I always rotate it. It looks the same from every side. The positioning of what's on the counter changes and that's about it. But I always like making it face the front. I don't know if that's a little bit of OCD in me or not, but I make sure I always do it. And let's do orange umbrellas. I think orange and white throughout this park will look really cool. Yeah, I like it. And these rides are gonna do so well. They've already made us probably at least a grand each or cumulatively a grand. Yeah, definitely. Okay, uh, how much of our loan have we taken out? 15, so we have five grand more. We're probably gonna have to max out our loan just to keep up the pace of our builds here. And I wanna do I think I'm gonna do a wooden crazy rodent roller coaster. Yeah, I'm thinking that's what I'm gonna do. That's happening. Okay, so let's find a spot for this. This park isn't huge, like I've mentioned. We've already pretty much used up this quarter of our park. This quarter is getting full. What if we put this along the back section here? Just run it along this it would force us to keep it nice and compact but allow us to do some pretty cool stuff at the same time i think that's gonna happen all right we'll start that there one two actually we'll start it in line with this and do an even number on either side so let's go for seven so one two three on the front and then three on the back plus the one in the middle makes seven perfect all right so we can't do that. We'll just drop it right out the gate here. And then do a steep incline up to 18. And this is definitely going to be one. This is actually really cheap to build. Like we're at $64 for a tile this high up. That is kind of nice, actually. I'm going to make this intense. We need something that's got a little bit more intensity rating for some of our high intensity, uh, or for some of our guests that prefer high intensity rides. 560 some odd is, I believe, no, 7.0 is the highest we have. So we do have a high intensity ride. Okay, so we're just gonna build this and we'll see what happens. I'm not gonna aim for anything at this point. Oh, I actually meant to go down there. Will that still work? 14, 18. No, probably not. Let's go down here. And like I said, I want to make this very compact. I think it's going to look cool if I can get away with doing all this. Uh, we will need to put some, some motion to the ocean <laughs> in can't build partially above and below. I know that. Uh, let's go ahead and take out another two grand here. That should be plenty to finish this thing. Um, and I actually kind of want to do another chain lift. I think that could be nice. And we can drop it back over this and try to weave back even through some of what we just built even more. I think that could be nice. We'll make this one a little bit lower just so this uh, keeps its prominent main drop kind of feel. And we'll actually bring this down to 12 because that should allow us to go behind all of this. And that's going to run right into that. So if we bring this wide, actually, we need to go. Ooh. We do that and then turn it. 
Okay, I see where we're at now. We can make this work. There we go. Oh, I wanted to go out the back side of this, but we don't have the ability to. Can I buy any land? No, I can't. Okay. So, what we have is what we have to work with. I can, I can make that work. This should be... Oh, I'm directly above... Oh, that's my bad. All right, so we went from 16 to 12, and this is just... So, we're going to be pretty slow by this point. So, let's do a steep drop here. That should clear all that, I'm hoping. And then let's just take up all this space back here because it's very unlikely we will be using it for much else. And then we'll do one last chain here just to clear stuff and make it, again, still feel kind of busy. Uh, we'll be able to do our entrance and exit just fine in this area. Uh, let's actually take it one more. Drop it to 12. So our walkways can clear. Actually, we need to back off probably by one here. Uh, so that our station or our entrance has somewhere to go without the supports getting in the way. Or actually, it would be the ride that's getting in the way. But let's go ahead and drop this down. And we'll go back up to 10. round this out and then if I take that wide does it look any better as far as supports go not at all because there's ride everywhere let's actually do this right there I think that looks cooler and we can get back up to 10 and we can even add one last piece of station if we need which I don't think we need to do so we're not going to that should hopefully work. We have three chain lifts, so this is gonna be kind of long. And I'm glad we didn't have to take out any more money than that. I think we still have, what, three grand left? Yeah, perfect. Okay, I can't even see the station at this point. <laughs> I don't know what's where, so I'm gonna hope that works. And then the exit we can do anywhere. Can we do it anywhere? We can't. Okay. Let's see how this works out. We might have to change this up. Um, okay. In order to make sure no one drowns, got to do a little bit of extra work here. No one enter there. No one enter here. We'll clear out this section. And then we can delete. Of course, our mechanic is still going to be here. We'll delete that because this is going to go underneath the main path. And then back up. Actually, let's have it go. There we go. That's cool looking. I love how just snaking a line around in a different way can make a ride look cooler like that line looks cool now instead of just being a line uh why don't i just do this that'll be easier there we go okay roller coaster one is done um i've got some names that i could use what would be oh mouse cars or mine truck mine trucks is probably if either of those is going to be creepy quote unquote, I don't think a mouse is going to be creepy. I'd rather do the mine truck. Um, and we can do, uh, what did I name Undead Nightmare? Ooh, I've got a cool name for this one. All right. And that gave me my color scheme as well. So this is going to be white everything except that. So it's black and white with a prominent white color, which is what I'm going for. It also gives us that solid black. What? Oh, okay. So our guests on the boat hire can go outside the park bounds. That is something I did not know. 
Okay, that's no issue. They'll find their way back. It's not like I made it difficult for them to get back. They just... They're just taking their sweet, sweet time. All right, we're going to name Roller Coaster 1... The Bone Crusher. Just because of all the ups and downs, gravity, it would just kind of crush your bones as you flatten out from a steep drop. I don't know. I like... I play these scenarios in my mind, and I hope they make sense to you guys, at least in the slightest. But okay, Bone Crusher, I think is ready to go. Let's go ahead and give it a test and see how bone crushing it really is. I like that. For a ride that's only like four tiles wide, we might have fudged it a little bit right here, but for a ride that's primarily only four tiles wide, I think that came out really nice. I am happy with that. That's awesome. I'll test it once more there, open it up, and let's see how well the Bone Crusher performed. It might be a little bit too intense. I can easily fix that by dropping this initial drop, because it gets, yeah. Okay, we crushed a few too many bones in that one. So let's actually lower this a little bit, just to knock off some of that initial intensity. I think that's mainly where our issue lied. And that will actually need to be chained still. There we go. So that's 16 to 12, and then back to 10, okay. We'll give that another test, and hopefully that works out a little bit better. We'll go ahead and open it right now while we wait for the test results. I feel like we're not unlocking things super fast. It could be that I'm just not seeing them, but because we definitely just unlocked... Okay, yeah, it's that I'm not seeing them. We've unlocked a suspended coaster and an observation tower. That is my bad. I'm just not paying attention, I guess. But yeah, this seems to still work just fine. It's just that initial twisting, I think, was a little bit much. Uh, and I'm wondering if changing it to do one car per train would work any better as far as the intensity goes. I'm not sure. One person on ride, that's good. No one's going to ride it while it's raining, so I'll go ahead and test it again. Sorry to get rid of that one guest. Ooh. What is so extreme about this? It's got to be that initial drop. If I take that off even more, if I taper that off... There. That puts us at... 15 and then we can instead of doing a steep drop what is that running into ah that's why okay so we'll take that chains and then drop to um, we do have to do a steep drop there that's the only way to really get that to work I think There we go. Okay. Third time's the charm, right? Let's hope that works better. Actually, we'll just keep it continually testing until we get results. And let's get back to building our observation tower. I don't really know where I want to put this. Normally, I'd say I want to do it right in the center. And that might actually be what I do. Um, right here would put us... 
perfect. And we can do the exit on one side, the entrance around the other. Yeah, that'll work out. And let's max the height, like always. I think it adds a lot to the ride. And it, it really does add a lot to the ride. And just from a pure excitement standpoint. Um, that's done. Tower 1. Ooh, and this is actually... Uh, Tower of Terror. Not a name I came up with. That's actually a ride at... Where is it? Disney World? Disney Land? Universal Studios? Somewhere. Tower of Terror? It's definitely... Their tower's a little bit more terrifying than this one. But, you know, to each their own. And let's actually have this line... We need to hold 20 people, like I always say. Um, so let's actually run the line... I was going to say all the way back around, but that's probably a little bit too much. Um, let's do... That's roughly 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Perfect. I approximate 5 people per bit. Whether that's the case or not, I'm not sure. But the paint job, it, it gets me, guys. It already knows what I'm trying to do here. It has painted itself for me, practically. Does red and white or black and white look better? Black and red look amazing. Yes. I like that. I wish you could change the window color. I feel like I say that all the time. But you can't. So alas, I will stick with it. All right. Bone Crusher. Is it any better? Okay. Intensity went down a little bit. Excitement went up quite a bit. I think that will be okay. It's an extreme intensity rating, which I am aware of, and not everyone will want to ride it, but there will be some, and I think it'll be enough to make this still be profitable. Yeah. Yeah, enough people are still wanting to go on it. This will be fine, and we can charge 530 for it. I named it the Bone Crusher for a reason, so if people are, <laughs> you know, thinking this is child's play, they are sorely mistaken. I had the intention. I said it. I even said it. You guys can go back and listen. I said I wanted to make it intense because we didn't have something that was really that intense. And then I realized we had Undead Nightmare. But now we do. We have an extreme ride. 250 on the Tower of Terror. Perfect. All right. We're getting in a better spot as far as money goes. I'm thinking we can build one other thing this episode. Uh, if we even have anything to build. We still don't have a transport ride. I feel like this would be a good park for a chairlift. And my reasoning for that is kind of morbid. <laughs> if something were to go wrong in this park, pretend it's real life, and a cable were to snap on the chairlift, that would be far more just bad and dramatic than it would be if a train broke down on the tracks you know it's this is the perilous pier you risk your life coming to this park it is intense it is crazy it is dangerous there are ghosts that come out at night i don't know it's <laughs> it's kind of the vibe i'm going for for this park so it's actually oh what else do i want to build i don't think i want to do a water slide quite yet just because it takes up so much space to really do a good water slide I think I'm going to do a log flume. And I'm thinking for this one, it could be kind of cool to play into utilizing the underbelly of everything. So kind of like I did with Undead Nightmare and that I kept this on the water level and kind of put it underneath all of this. If you were actually writing that, again, envision this in first person. You're going underneath all these supports, through the supports, with supports on your left and your right, just whizzing by you repeatedly. You're going through all of that underneath all these rides, and you could probably reach out and touch it as you're riding. That's, that's what goes through my mind when I build these rides. I think about it kind of in first person, like what would look cool? What if you had a water ride kind of on the water kind of just doing the same thing except it's more of a scenic experience you get to see all of the 
I don't know, all of the, the underbelly of this park. I think that's a kind of a cool idea, so I'm going to do just that. We're going to bring the station down to water level, just like we did with the Bone Crusher. Actually, we didn't do that with a Bone Crusher. We did that with Freddy and Jason. Or Freddy versus Jason. All right, so we'll do... I don't even know how much station. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Sure, that works. Um, and I want to make sure, again, I keep this kind of underneath everything. I want it to not be a, a huge eyesore. Uh, and it looks like right there it clips, uh, which I don't like. You guys know that. So we'll actually bring this out by one more so that I can do this without having to do an S-Bend. Okay. Where this is going to get its elevation, I'm not sure, because we will need to do some of that at some point. Let's actually turn this and go underneath that other one. And then poke out right there. Oh, this is kind of cool. It might have not the greatest stats, but I think it's I think it's cool looking. We do need to come. Uh, we do need to come back up and over stuff at some point, and is this the part to do it? It might be. Let me take this one further, if I can, which I can't. <laughs> okay, never mind. Can I S bend to the left? I don't think so, because it still uses that one tile. All right, what if I hug the path here and go over this? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Can I do it at 10? Because I'd like to do it at 10. Again, with the symmetry. So we went flat for two, and then if we can drop it back down... No, that's not going to work, because that'll put us back at eight. And then this will be in the way. Oh, it will work. I stand corrected. I love it when I'm wrong, when I think... Well, I love it when I'm wrong, when I think I'm not going to be able to do something I wanted to. I don't always love it when I'm wrong, but... Okay. And this should actually be able to... Ooh, okay, so we S-bended... S-bound? S S-bended? We did an S-bend. That's kind of cool. It kind of pokes its head out so you can kind of see up on the walkway for a little bit. I like it. And then we're going to try to get this back back to where we started. I realize this doesn't have much, if any, elevation change to it. But I think it's still going to work out pretty nicely, actually. I'm hoping so, at least. Okay. That's nice. We could actually probably go up a little bit right here. Can I clear that? This is getting way too long. I'm getting a little bit too ambitious here. Roller coaster in the way. We'll just go up to one. Drop it. Ooh, that's right where we need to be. Um, what can I do here? We're going to have to scrap that. That's okay. We'll just end it right here. And I actually am going to add more station now that this thing is as long as it is. Uh, but let's do the entrance a couple back from the front just because I don't want to get congested up in this up in this business right here. Uh, but let's do the exit. Right there looks good. Ooh. Every time I exit out of a, the build or the construction screen on a ride and the water... Uh, goes from underwater view to regular water. It is money. I love it. Mm, so much better looking. Okay. We are in April of year two already. Jeez, I need to I need to wrap this up. All right, so let's get our entrance built, which is going to. We'll actually run it behind this if I can. There we go. And we'll bring it back up right there. Again, doing this kind of snake in the path around. It adds so much, yet it's so easy to do. All right, log flume one. I 
I need a name for this. Sorry, I'm trying to... I've got a list of names. And I'm not sure what exactly I want to use. Okay, I kind of got one. This will be... Chainsaw Chasm. I don't know a chasm is not a water-related term, but in my mind, it's they're going through the quote-unquote chasms between all of the supports because 90% of this ride is underneath supports of either walkways or other rides. I like it. Chainsaw Chasm. Kind of like the Chainsaw Massacre. Ugh, I like it. <laughs> I'm getting way too into this theme. Okay, um, we'll do black on the underside, black on the... Actually, what would red look like? Kind of like blood in the water? I kind of like that. Let's try the darker red. Yeah, I like that. It's like blood in the water. I wish I could change the water to be red. That would be sick, almost literally. And then black supports... Not that there even are many, but a few right there. And I love that little bit right there. That looks really cool. All right, and then our boats. What do red boats look like? Oh, that looks sick. Not at all wooden. Yes, we are doing that. Chainsaw chasm. Let's test a boat or two. Probably two. All right, Chainsaw Chasm is open for business. We'll do what we did in Atlantic Oasis and start by charging six bucks and modify from there. It's probably gonna drop quite a bit. I don't anticipate this being incredibly exciting. But either way, it is a cool looking ride. I am pleased with that. But all right, guys, that's going to do it for this episode here on Perilous Pier. I hope you've enjoyed. We got the Bone Crusher built three times, I might add, but we got it built. And we have our brand new Chainsaw Chasm. Next time when we get back, we have the money to do it. We will build some sort of coaster. Another one. Hopefully we unlock a new one by then. But until next time, guys... Take care, get in the mood for Halloween, because it is coming tomorrow, I believe, if I've got my upload schedule correct. Should be tomorrow. If it's not, oops, otherwise, get excited. I know I am. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, as always, take care. <laughs>